Let's go Spencer Myers. <laughs> yeah, you know, he seems to, like in the bigger moments, has seemed to deliver in, in my time with him. And we needed it. It was a, it was a strange opening to a game. You know, they didn't – two balls that didn't leave the infield and a walk, and now it's bases loaded, nobody out. And we wiggle out of it and have some momentum. And um, for him to deliver the grand slam, like, we needed it. And that was a pivotal moment and may have – decided the game. Um, obviously the momentum swing of that sequence between us evading them scoring and then banging away there, um, huge. And Spencer's, he's just a, a gamer and he's not operating on all cylinders at the plate right now, but like he's, you can see the incremental increases in the quality of the at-bat and the quality of contact. And he's he's getting there and he works on it. So hopefully the trend continues for him. He's had some really – and they don't always result in hits or getting on base, but he's had some much better at-bats in the, the last couple of weeks. What do you learn about your team? You set the tone early with the five spot, but then the two innings that they scored, you guys answer right back. So I know it's a yeah, big week game, but know, what do you learn? Well, you learn that – they have the uncanny ability to do that. I don't know if it's a team that has a heightened sense of focus or just toughness or determination when something like that happens. If, if it was that easy, you'd think you'd score every inning. It's not. So they seem to raise the level of focus a little bit at times, and you saw it in every case today when they scored. And the, again, some of the defensive play that blends in at this point as much as I think we've watched these guys play defense. It just continues to help build momentum when you're in there on the offensive side. And I think that was the case again today. There were some there were some good plays all over the field. Brian against some really good plays. Prisner, um, Spencer, the line drive caught the first inning and Cole made some good plays. So that just adds to the moxie of how they feel Yeah, I guess big picture, what are those elements they've got the forecast for this team? Clearly know what they're what they're trying to do when they get out here. It doesn't mean we always do it. Um, you know, today I look at some of the younger arms. I mean, Finley, obviously, he's learning his way. He didn't really have a secondary pitch in the equation today, so the fastball was really all he had. Um, Jackson's going to help us this year. You've seen it. He's going to help us down the road, and we got to figure Liam out. We knew AT, we didn't want to overdo it, but he was fresh enough to help. We didn't want to just hold him for the weekend because this this is an important game when you're playing a, a, a good team. And he settled the game down like we would have expected. Um, and then ratted. Like you can you can sense the, the stuff is good. The fastball is lively. A secondary stuff wasn't in play a lot. We didn't throw it a lot, but he was good. So that side of it, the, using some of those younger guys to try to groom them for what's coming down the stretch is really important because when you get in these weekends, you know, when you're when you're competing like we are, some of these it's it's not always going to be Bertrand throwing 130 pitches and Temple throwing. It's we're going to have to piece things together like we did today, and those guys are going to find themselves in critical positions before the season is over. And this grooming and learning on the fly, there's you can't replace that. Reference Bertrand, this last one for me. Um, it is two years here. What, what's he meant to this program, the micro and the macro? Well, our grad transfers are essentially our junior college recruits. It's hard for us to recruit junior college players like, like other schools can do. So when you get somebody with that kind of maturity, that's, that's a recipe to help in every sense. Knows what he's doing. He's a, a worker, like a professional worker. Has a sense of what his strengths are, pitching, and he's helped some of the younger guys. So it helps in every sense. Obviously, when he goes out there and competes, like it's as good a left-handed pitch ability as you'll see. So that obviously helps. But just everything is is it's great. And the other grad transfers see that. Like, those guys have one year. So I think when people that are interested in our program study what happens to some of the grad guys that come here for a year, we obviously recruit them to contribute. They get the master's degree from Notre Dame, and you know, they get to enjoy competing at this level, at this institution, in this conference, and hopefully beyond this conference. What's allowed you guys to be so good at home the last two years, especially not college? to the wind that we're dealing with right now, the sun, the lighting, the environment. You know, you, you, your home is 
in advantage. Like if it's not, then something might be a little out of whack for you. Um, then we're not having to travel. We're not having to deal with getting in late on Thursday or Friday morning, whenever we're like these other trips that we go on. We don't get there sometimes the day we leave here. Yeah. So you're you're waking up like and you've slept awkward hours before you open a Friday series in the ACC. It's tough. So here you eliminate that, and I think they're just maybe a little more rested and comfortable. And we've we've done okay on the road, but. You should play well at home, and you practice like you know every nuance of the field, how the wall plays. You kind of off the bat on the bases, you recognize like what's going to fall in and what's going to get in the gap. Like you just should be more comfortable and acclimated to what you're doing on your own surface and in your own stadium. When you talked about the stretch drive, when does the stretch drive start? A couple weeks? Yeah, I mean, like I, really I, we're comes. right in the middle of it right now, but. It goes quickly. Like we're probably, if you just look at our schedule on paper, I would think we're probably about halfway. So, um, and I don't think we're there just yet, but we're close. I would say a couple weeks. But what we're learning in this is every one of these games is really, really critical as you try to build yourself for the postseason and your resume and the RPI and all the things that go into the decisions that are made towards the end of the year. You know? So this is a huge win. That's a good RPI team. They're obviously talented, very good conference. So, you know, the stretch run, we're not there yet, but just the, the critical nature of every one of these games is real when you're competing.